What's up everyone? Chance here with Missouri Outdoors. This is episode 3 of the Not So Secret Fishing Spots series. We, you may recognize this location from some of my previous videos, but we are at the Hartville Lake, which is really a river, but the locals call it a lake. But we're going to do a little bit of fishing here and see what we can't get caught and try to showcase the place off. They have a little island over here with a bridge you can walk to from the park. Got a nice little spot to bring your family. It's got a jungle gym and a swing set and a little park pavilion you can sit under. But you look this way and the bluff bends around and then there's a dam just over here where the water cascades off into the river and there's the bridge that runs through town but all right we're gonna get set up right here and see what we can't get done stay tuned all right here we go try to get you guys a good view here there's lots of different fish here you can catch. There's bass of multiple different species, crappie, um, three or four different kinds of bluegill, catfish, lots of target species, lots of different fish. Today we're really just after anything. We'll just see what we can't catch here. Getting lots of bites right off the bat. Nothing extra good though. My lure is about wore out. It won't stay on the hook properly, which tends to happen with these. We may throw a, a bigger lure here in a few minutes and see if we can't catch a big bass on top water. That'd be pretty cool. Matter of fact, we're gonna try that. show you guys what I'm using a uh, I believe it's a four and a half or five inch um, Zara spook in the uh, black and silver color but we're gonna give this thing a zing and see what we can't get done with it if we get lucky we might catch a big fish I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's what they call walking the dog. You just make that spook just kind of crisscross right atop, right across the surface. And if you read the box and if you believe it, it says a Zara spook can call a fish out of 20 foot of water. I guess depth wise. I'm a big believer in them. I know they work. I've caught a lot of fish on a Zara Spook. A lot. But all you gotta do to work it is just cast it out and then just kinda twick your rod tip. Leave a little bit of slack in the line and the lure will pretty much do its thing itself, really. They do take a little bit of practice to get really good with, but after you do, there's nothing to it. And when the water gets really, really warm, them bass will just blow up right on top water and eat that thing. It's one of the most interesting lures, in my opinion, to fish with. It's 
we'll make a few casts with it. See what we can't get done. Oop. I tried to eat my line. If it would just hit that lure, we'd be in luck. That's the only bad thing about them. If you get them anything on them or if the line snags into the hooks, they're not going to work properly at all. What I like about them is you can fish a large area and never have to move. Because, I mean, you can cast them a mile almost. Not literally, but, you know. You know what I mean. It's kind of an art form. you got to get it near the structure in the weeds without quite getting it into them. Because that's where the fish like to hide, is near them weeds. And that brush. Alright guys, I'm going to give you guys a look at this side. Here's the park and their little play area. There's a park pavilion over there where there's a guy, so I'm not going to go and film over there. But there's the little island you can see. And then, if you look right over here, that's where the dam goes down. And there's the town of Hartville. Well, some of it. And then the bridge. But I just figured I'd give you guys a look at this side of the little lake here. They call it Hartville Lake, but the stream, re stream regulations apply. So it's not an actual lake lake. You treat it as river water. But all right, I'm gonna set up here and make a few casts and see what happens. We probably won't cast a lot right here, but we're gonna make a few casts just to see if we can't hook up into a big bass real quick with a, one of these Zara spooks. It's always worth a try. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. I got a little trash on my... Believe it or not, that little bit right there will affect the way this lure works. But all right, we're gonna try another cast. I know the lighting's getting kind of low and it's probably getting harder for you guys to see. So I'll be wrapping this up shortly. I'm actually going to do my wrap up scene on the other side of the lake in the next clip. I was going to just go ahead and wrap it up over there but I decided to come over here and show you this side of the lake before I did. Since I am supposed to be showcasing these locations. So I figured we'd go ahead and make two or three casts while we're here. Which doesn't seem to be panning out. So alright guys, I'll see you in a moment on the other side. Alright, well we went down a little further. The Zara spook wasn't working, so we're going to go back to this uh, pearl white power grub. I know I've fished here quite a few times in my videos, so I'm not going to show you 
this place to death in this video just because well if you kind of want to see what we catch here and all that I've got multiple other videos in my just plain fishing pl playlist so you guys can kind of get an idea here but we'll make a few more casts and see what we can't get caught just try to get something going I know fishing videos can't be all that interesting when you're not catching a whole lot, but then again, that's how fishing is. I mean, a lot of times you don't catch stuff. Oh, this might not be one of those times. There we go. This is how all these videos have been so far, and just when I think I'm out of luck, we get lucky. Yeah, right here. Let me get a hold of him here. Beautiful sunfish. But all right, we're gonna get him back in the water. Pretty good size too, about the size of my hand. I mean, can't get no better than that. But we're gonna throw him back and we'll make a few more casts and see if we can't catch something else. If you come down here with worms and a bobber, I mean, you can catch them about every, well, minute, minute and a half. There's millions or trillions of them in here. And actually, fishing that way is a pretty good way to catch a lot of the other species in here, too. I saw a lady down here the other day trying to catch some that way, and she was catching catfish. Which, I mean, catfish on a worm isn't surprising. It's pretty common, but just the fact that she was set up for bluegill on a small hook and was catching them was what was amazing me. So there's a lot of fishing opportunities down here. I'm just not set up to catfish today or really bass fish for that matter. I don't have a lot of bass fishing lures on me. Most of it's for, like, panfish and crappie and fishing in rivers and stuff like that so we're kind of making do with what we got get the dang thing unhung there we go i hope you guys are liking these videos make sure to leave me your feedback on what you think but all right we're not having that much luck so I'm going to wrap this video up. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. If you like the video, leave a like. And leave me a comment if you want to. I love hearing from everyone. But alright, I'm going to let you guys go. Have a good day.